Hello everyone. So lately I have not been putting very much effort into my appearance and by lately I mean like the past three years of my life <laughs> and I have not been feeling very confident or pretty and so that is something I would like to change. Much like this hoodie, my life is comfortable but ill-fitting because I spend all of my time watching Netflix instead of achieving my goals and becoming a self-actualized human being. You know, just trivial things like that. I'm in a weird place because I'm in between jobs and I'm obviously not using my time very wisely and when you have nothing to go out for or get ready for, you kind of don't really feel the need to, you know, get all dressed up or put on makeup or wear a cute outfit and that can really impact how you feel about yourself. I don't necessarily think it's a matter of vanity. Like, yes, your appearance is not the most important thing in life and you should be focusing on other things, but right now I'm not focusing on anything and I think that if I had a little bit more pep in my step and felt better about myself and more confident on a daily basis that I might actually be more motivated to go out and do things. And so right now I am going to try and force a glow up <laughs> because I have been told all of my life that you are supposed to be in your prime in your 20s and I am not in my prime. <laughs> I am sitting here with a face full of acne and dry ass hair and I am not here for it and I want to change. So over the course of this week I'm going to take baby steps to try and regain some of my confidence and hopefully by the end of it I will feel better. First things first, I needed to get a haircut, badly. Whenever I'm feeling discontented with my appearance, a haircut always helps me to feel fresh and new again. I went to an Aveda salon that my mom recommended and told the hairdresser to hack off as much as she needed to to ensure that all my dead, split ends would be off my head and on the salon floor. I had intended to keep the length, but the hairdresser had to cut off four inches to make my ends healthy again, which honestly sounds about right when I think about how little I was caring for my hair. I also decided to thicken my bangs and make them straight across for a Jenny Humphrey inspired look. Next up, I wanted to treat my hair to a nice oil mask. One of my dad's clients gave him a little bottle of oil extracted from a vegetable in the squash family called Opo, and it supposedly has hair growth benefits. My dad didn't have a lot of faith that this miracle vegetable would help his bald head, so he gifted the oil to me. I lathered it on before bed, focusing on the top of my scalp, slept, and washed it out in the morning. Arguably, my favorite part of all the steps was getting a new piercing. I get a new one every few years and it always makes me feel excited about my appearance and admittedly, slightly edgier than I felt before. Unfortunately, they didn't let me film inside the actual room, but I was allowed to take pictures, so at least I have some record of the process for you guys. I got a conch piercing on my left ear, which I have wanted for ages, but only now had the courage to do. It hurt, but ultimately it wasn't too bad and I'm super happy with how it turned out. I got this hair dye called Overtone, which is really a deep conditioner with pigment, and I thought it would be cool to try it out for this video. I originally filmed a whole segment with my mom helping me dye a specific part of my hair, and it turned out really cool, but then I learned shortly afterwards that the stuff fades out significantly within a couple washes. So I had to dye my hair again, and this time I said fuck it and dyed my whole head since I knew it would be temporary and it's something I've always wanted to do. The dye was supposed to be black, but it turned out to be dark purple, which was good enough for me because it allowed some of my red to shine through, and I thought that looked kind of cool and dimensional. To go along with my newly dyed dark hair, I tried to do some dark makeup. I wanted to keep it relatively simple because I am not a makeup artist and frankly only know how to do one thing. I did a really minimal eye look with some pink shimmery eyeshadow that looks kind of orange on camera and a dark lip to top it off. I attempted to fill in my brows to match my hair, but it looked so horrid that I wiped it off. I also bought fake lashes for this and actually did one eye kind of successfully, but messed up the other so badly that I took those off too. I find that my makeup tends to look better when I adhere to a less is more philosophy. For my hair, I styled it with a flat iron to add some waves and texture, and use hairspray to hold it in place, which I only sprayed directly in my eyes two times. Then I rushed to go film the reveal before the sun started setting. 